So what if I have a CGPA under 8? Is it going to impact me? Now, I cannot give you a yes or no as an answer. I'll have to break it down into multiple scenarios. We'll be taking three scenarios. The first one is college placements. The second one is off-campus placements. And the third one is after you graduate, when you make a switch. For the first one, college placements, there will be a bunch of companies that would be visiting your campus. Obviously, it is not possible for them to interview you know, 500 people at a go. So what they do is they filter out candidates. And in order to do that, they will be taking an online assessment or they will be filtering out candidates on the basis of CGPA. So if you are falling under that CGPA stuff, you will not be shortlisted, right? But if you go via online assessment and if you make it to the interviews and if you perform really well in those interviews, then CGPA is something that will not be seen by most of the companies. That is how the college placements scenario is. Talking about off-campus placements, again, two types of companies. The bigger companies which have a minimum CGPA criteria that you have to fulfill in order to apply. And then there are startups who do not care. All they care is you know, your proof of work and what kind of projects you have built or your past internship experiences. Now talking about the last scenario that is when you would be making a switch. CGPA is something that would be last on the list of a recruiter when she is hiring you. What matters to them at that point is, okay, what company you're currently working at, what domain you're working at, how much experience you hold, have you done something beyond work, like, you know, something outside work as well. They'll be focusing on that. So if I have to summarize it on the longer run, CGPA will not matter that much, but initially when you start, it's going to matter. So I keep posting such content on Instagram. So yeah, follow me for more. Thank you so much for watching.